Hi, this is Math 6, Lesson 3-4, the fourth lesson of Topic 3, Writing Algebraic Expressions. In this lesson, you'll be able to use variables to write algebraic expressions. First, you will write an algebraic expression to model a pattern, and then write algebraic expression from a word phrase, and use precise mathematical language when identifying parts of an expression. So you'll be able to explain how to write algebraic expressions and describe what they represent from this lesson. Let's look at explore it. The table shows the number of games the Hornets won and the number of games the Lynx won. Hornets won three games, six games, nine games, and so on. Lynx won five, eight, 11, and so on. What pattern do you see in the data in the table? Do we have a pattern here? Explain how the pattern relates to the number of games won. Do you see a pattern? Three, six, nine, and so on. Five, eight, 11, and so on. What are the patterns you see? Mm -hmm. The number of games that the Hornets won is always two less than the number of games that the Lynx won? Or what can you say? The Lynx always have two more wins than the Hornets, right? So Lynx always has plus two from Hornets number. And then Hornets is always less by two points than Lynx, okay? So let's record that. The links always have two more wings than the hornets. Okay, look for relationships. Write numerical expressions to relate the number of games won by the links to the number of games won by the hornets. So if you look at this table, if hornets won three games, links would be three plus two, which is five. Six could be what? Six plus two. And then if Hornets won nine games, you can, you can assume that Lynx won nine plus two games. Okay. Explain how to complete the table above here for um, the Lynx if the Hornets won N games. Whatever Hornets, whatever number of Hornets won, Lynx will be N plus two games. Right, whatever number Hornets won plus two. So suppose the links won G games. What mathematical expression could you write to show how many games the Hornets won? G, using G, okay? So if links is always two more, Hornets is always two less. So you can say G minus two because why? How is this expression related to the expression you wrote to find the number of games the Lynx won when the Hornets won N games? How is N plus two and G minus two related? Both expressions contain one variable, at least one variable, right? And one numerical expression, the number two, okay? But this one, N plus two is an addition, G minus two is a subtraction. So you can compare and contrast these two uh, using these vocabularies. Both expressions contain a variable and a number two. The expression n plus two is addition and G minus two is subtraction. Okay, let's write the operation. The operation in N plus two.
Okay. So let's think about how we can write an algebraic expression throughout the lesson. Example one, writing an algebraic expression using a pattern. Darius bought some comic books. How can you write an algebraic expression to represent the total cost of the comic books? You're gonna use a variable to write an algebraic expression. Every comic is how much dollars each? Four dollars each. So how can you how can you use the variable to represent number how many number um you uh Darius bought from comic books, right? You're gonna let n be the number of comic books. Each comic book costs one. So if n is one, total cost is four dollars. If you buy two magazines, you pay eight dollars and so on. A variable is a letter like n that represents an unknown quantity. It could be one, two, three, four, or ten. You don't know how many magazines he bought. So using that, you can write an algebraic expression, which is by definition, a type of math expression that has at least one variable and at least one operation. Okay, operation is plus minus division multiplication. Okay, variable is a number that represents, is a, is a letter that represents a number. Okay, so you can write, um, the total cost of magazine as four times n. So four n would be your simplified expression. Okay, four times n or four dot, that means multiply by n, four parentheses n and four n are all same. They're all same values. There are all ways to write the same expression. Okay, let's try this problem. Darius's sister, Rachel bought M number of mystery books for $6.5 each. Show three ways to write an algebraic expression that represents the total cost of the mystery books. So we have one, two, three, four different types of ways to write the same expression shown here. So if um, one mystery book costs $6.5 each, can you use M to represent the total cost of the mystery books? Yeah, you can say M is the number of books times 6.5 is going to be the total cost. Okay, that could be one expression. What's another expression? Or you can say 6.5 times M. Okay, just like that. And what's the next one? You can do 6.5 parentheses M. I know it's three ways, but let's go ahead and write the last one. 6.5 M is also the same. So, so all of them are the same expressions. How do you know that the expressions you wrote for the cost of the mystery books are algebraic expressions? Why are they called algebraic? Why are they categorized algebraic expressions? What's the definition of algebraic expressions? You need to have at least one variable and one operation. Do we have at least one variable? Yes, M. Do we have at least one operation? Yes, multiplication. So we do have algebraic expressions. Okay, let's write that down. Each expression contains a variable and an, oper and, and an operation. For multiplication, a dot, no symbol, parentheses or the multiplication symbol of 
all can be used to represent the operation. Okay. Example two, writing algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression can use variables and operations to represent a given situation. Look at parts A, B, C, and D. Five minutes more than time T. More than represents addition because you have how many times more, right? How many more, not times. Okay, so you have t plus five, five plus t is your operation, or t plus five, okay? Part B, 10 erasers decrease by, if you see the word decrease, it's a subtraction. So 10 minus a number n, decrease by. So whatever comes after by, decrease by, is going to be subtracted from the number that comes before that phrase, okay? For subtraction, the order does matter. Part C, n nectarines shared equally by three. If it's shared equally, you're dividing it by the same number. So n divided by three, okay? Whatever comes after by would be the number that you're dividing it by. Okay, so n divided by three or n over three, both represent the same expression. Four times, if you see times, the quantity x plus eight, that means four times the quantity of this thing, right? So four times parentheses x plus eight. You need to do x plus eight first and then multiply that with four, okay? Let's look at try question. Write an algebraic expression that represents eight minus the quantity. Okay, whenever you see the word quantity, you need to group some words with parentheses. Eight minus the quantity, b divided by six. So the quantity b divided by six would be one quantity number, okay? A minus parentheses, b divided by six. So literally it's eight minus parentheses, B divided by six, or you can, or you can write this as eight minus B over six. Ooh, that's the bell. Example three. Identify parts of an expression. Each part of an expression that is separated by a plus sign or a minus sign is called a term. How many terms does the, does the expression 12R plus R over two minus 19 have? Describe the parts of the expression. So, no, so note that the term, a term is separated by a plus or a minus sign. Multiplication and division is fine, okay? Only plus and minus sign. So we have plus and minus signs here. One plus, one minus. So how many terms do we have? One, two, three. Three terms, okay? 12R is one. R over two is another. 19 is the third term, okay? The first term, 12R, is a product of two factors. This is the first term, and it's very special. What's special about the first term is that you have a coefficient in your first term. A coefficient is the number that is multiplied by a variable in your, um, in your expression, okay? So if you have the product of two factors, 12R, then your coefficient is the number part. Coefficient has to be with a variable in order to be called a coefficient. If it's just by itself, it's just a number. Okay, it needs to be with the variable to be able to be identified as coefficient. Remember that a fraction bar also means divide. So the second term, r over two, could be r divided by two. So, and the third term is a constant numerical value. Okay, constant is another word to say it's a number by itself. Okay, that is the technical word. 
Let's look at try question. How many terms does the expression r divided by 9 plus 5.5 have? We need to count the addition and the subtraction. We only have one addition here, no subtraction. So how many terms? This is one term, this is the second term, okay? We have two terms total, right? Because r divided by 9 is just a division, so that's not going to be a separate term, okay? The quotient of r and 9 um, and 5.5 are the terms separated by the plus sign. Okay. Let's summarize our lesson. So today we learned about how to write algebraic expressions. A variable written as a letter represents a quantity that can change. You can use a variable to write an algebraic expression that has at least one operation. Note that all the terms are separated by addition and subtraction, okay? But the whole thing could be called an algebraic expression, all right? And then keep in mind some word phrases uh, give you um, the operations. So keep also keep in mind that algebraic expressions have at least one operation and one variable that they can be written to describe patterns or to model phrases. All right, that pretty much sums up lesson 3-4 writing algebraic expressions. I'll see you in the next video.